Yo, by the way, you know what I like about King Yellow? Yo, oh, yeah. Oh, this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Joe told me to talk about this. Joe told me to talk about this. All right. Cool. 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 Oh, uh, no. Hold on. Let me just talk about this real quick. All right, chat. So, um, what was I trying to pull up? Um, I was trying to pull up. What is it? What is it? What is it? King Yellow. No, no, no. 600 Breezy Say Cheese. Soup to Say Cheese. By the way, oh, another thing, real, real quick, real quick. Like this is this is comical. This is jokes. BT Hip Hop Awards nominees. Let, let, let me just read this bullshit real quick. This is hilarious. This is a complete list of um, BT Hip Hop Awards nominees for 2022. Let me see if I could like find it. Um, they, they, they do a uh, uh, hip hop platform of the year. Remember last year, like I, I mentioned it. This is their um, hip hop platform of the year um, award shit, and by the way, it's, I'm not even mad anymore. Like you know, I violated them last year, so I, I, I knew I was gonna be surprised if I even got nominated. But this is a flat out joke. Carisha, please is a is the best hip hop platform. Like, bro, just tell me that Diddy's paying you without telling me Diddy's paying you. Big Boy's Neighborhood, bro. I haven't heard nothing from Big Boy's Neighborhood in forever, nigga. The Breakfast Club, salute to the Breakfast Club. Ain't gonna say nothing about them, but Complex, nigga, come on, nigga, please. Like, Drink Champs, I'm gonna give Drink Champs, do your thing. Hip Hop DX, bro, you know, I ain't gonna tweak on it, whatever, whatever. Million dollars worth the game, I see them. NPR Tiny Desk Concerts, bro, like, come on, bro. Like, th their biggest moment was with Usher, nigga. That's an R&B moment, nigga. Then they said Versus. Like, these niggas are stupid. I get it. This is some old nigga shit, and it's cool. Like, I'm not even mad about it no more. But anyway, um... Listen, if, if you told my hip hop platforms, you don't got DJ Academics, No Jumper, Say Cheese, DJ Vlad, bro, we only like Joe Button Podcast. Um, 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 what else we talking about? A drink champs, million dollars worth of game, bro. These are cultural shit, bro. Like, like there's a cultural hub of it. And if you go name like million dollars worth of game, bro, you gotta name these other platforms. If you go name drink champs, like, but but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. You can see the selection bias. The selection bias is that Drink Champs is with Revolt. Carisha Please is with Revolt. Of course, Breakfast Club had some shit with Revolt. Did he paint some shit over here? Let's keep it a thousand. Feel me? And then the versus shit, that's some old head shit. Like, nigga, like, who want to watch Omarion and Lil Fizz battle it out? Like, no, I ain't trying to diss, but that's a fact, nigga. You get me? A million dollars worth of games. Salute to y'all. Tiny Desk, that's the old niggas who, who kind of like, bro, like, they haven't had no young artists on that shit. So, again... I can't even be mad at it just because it's not the demographic that I represent, you know? And um, rather than be upset at it, nigga, you, I got to just come up with some shit that represent the demographic that's whatever. Now, granted, let me now talk my shit. All of these fucking shows and all these little platforms they talking about on there, me, Vlad No Jumper shits on every single one of them when it comes to making the most. I don't give a fuck. That's a fact. Bingo, okay? So again... If they're going to just talk about the bias since I get it, it's all cool. I ain't knocking it. But we know what's up. All right. Let me just move on. Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yo, yo, this is hilarious. This is the 600 Breezy talking about. He said Chicago rappers are turning to bloggers. Remember they used to get at me like, yo. And by the way, this is why I'm pleasantly surprised that, yo, people finally like, you know, they warming up to the blogging thing now because all the rappers who would be like, yo, nah, it's some nerd police shit to blog. They're all blogging, right? So here's Six Sunday Breezy. So now, you know, it's a lot of Chicago rappers turned bloggers, man. You got uh, Tay 600, FYBJ, man, King Yella. Um, you know, they're more like reporters now. They're bloggers. They're updating their fans on certain shit that's going on in the industry, certain shit that went on in Chicago. What's your thoughts on that? Like a lot of these rappers turning into to journalists now. I don't like. I feel like them niggas that's doing the blogging and shit. You know the rapping shit ain't go where it wanted to for them. Like I understand Tay's situation and what he had going on and shit. You know, he that's personal. Like I still got love for him, so I ain't speaking on Tay. But them other niggas though. They they simply bloggers because they watching what y'all do and they want a piece of that money because they couldn't get it off rap. And some shit they be talking about be real street shit and it don't need to be spoken on or you know, they really they they turn 
They turn from street niggas to instigators. Because now they feel like, oh, I'm going to get a check off every single thing that happened. I'm going to make it my headline and sit in the house and talk about it. And then people watching them. So, you know, I don't knock a nigga how they make their money because them niggas probably seeing way more money than they ever did. Like, don't get me wrong, the nigga, uh, uh, one of them niggas out that group was getting numbers. And everybody know who it was, so can't really say him. But the uh, them other niggas weren't doing no type of numbers, period. They ain't had no real buzz unless they diss somebody. And that was barely. So, shit. I wouldn't ever be no blogger. I wouldn't ever sit in the house and just be sitting there talking and talking and talking about shit that ain't got nothing to do with me or my people. They, it's like they being nosy, like they being instigators. They just talking about other people's situations and shit they got going on. So I ain't really, that shit, some of that shit be police as hell and some of that shit just instigating. That's some female shit that they doing. Like y'all was rappers and now y'all really jumping in something. It's like they riding y'all way, you know, like, so. I I don't agree with it. Like, and I ain't saying that just because I don't like a certain group of them niggas, but shit, it's really all the niggas that call themselves quote unquote ops that's doing it. And, like, you don't really see nobody from my side doing it. I won't even say that's what Tay doing. Tay really Tay really be sitting there telling old stories and shit. You know? You don't see Tay getting up there like, oh, in today's news, da 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 da. The rest of them niggas is doing that. Oh, today, <laughs> anything that happened, they picking it up and they talking like bitches. You know what I'm saying? So I so you know, like them them other niggas, they they doing some weird shit. I don't respect them. I ain't, um, you know, but to each his own. So you though. think? So you think from from being you know even being a gangster, like a lot of these dudes, they they're from the street. You think that's a, a line they shouldn't cross as far as, you know, it's like you said earlier. It's like it's like being it's like. Quote unquote, being the police. You know, because you're reporting everything and putting your two cents on everything that's going on, no matter what it's dealing with. No matter what it's dealing with, they reporting on that shit on their YouTube for views so they can get a check. They ain't doing that shit just because they, they, they wanted to be a fucking news reporter or, you know, you niggas was gangster rappers. Gangster rappers at that. And now y'all doing blogging and shit, you know, like, and they really, they being nosy. That shit's some, 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 some catty tit for tat shit. Hey, them niggas is really paying anything that happened. They go right in front of their TV, in front of their phone and, oh yeah, and today this happened. But, you know, that ain't really no street nigga shit, bro. That's not no, you know, if you label yourself a street nigga, if them niggas want to change and be positive, then cool. But them niggas doing that and then nigga just dropped a diss two, three weeks ago. Saying fuck niggas dead homies and shit like that. They on that type of shit. So they using the everybody else business and they and they shit to get up there and then they uh, go and make a diss and or they uh, get up there and tell niggas. All right, um, let me just quickly wait on this. Um, I completely get what Six Hundred Breezy is saying, but I'm gonna keep it real with you. A lot of these Chicago rappers are realizing they'll never make money off music. It's better if they tell their stories not through musical form. So if they want to get on a camera and just talk and tell their story of, oh, so that's what happened back then, blah, blah, blah. 600 Breezy might call it police shit. I'm not going to call it like that. I'm going to just be like, yo, these guys trying to make money. Like, that's just, it just comes down to that. These dudes were never making money off music. Like, like you always got to wonder, like, how are certain, certain dudes making money off music? They're not. They're not making money off music. They're not profitable. And in reality, they are just not doing well. And um, they want to make money like they don't want to be out here killing people or doing crime. So they got some stories to tell and they're telling it again. Um, I'll agree with 600 Breezy to a certain extent, because now when you become on that type of side, you know, um, you should probably stay clear of some of the active stuff going on, because now you're a commentator. You're, you're telling stories, which are usually, you know, you're giving details that, again, quote, unquote, if you were in the field, you wouldn't do. But. Bro, the whole source of this thing is that dudes aren't making money. Six Hundred Breezy is, is is lucky enough that he was signed, so he had money coming in from certain type of places, and people fuck with him. But a lot of these guys, you're wondering how are they they making money? They weren't making money off music, so now, like yo, King Yellow might be making who knows four or five thousand dollars a month off of him telling his story on YouTube, bro. He wasn't making that off music. Let him, I, I'm not mad at him. You get me? I'm not mad at him at all. So, um, I'm not going to be tripping on it, right? 
Nah. Anyway, chat, I'm getting the fuck on out of here, man. Listen, I love you. Thank y'all for watching. I will be back either tomorrow <laughs> with the update from court um, or some other shit. Thank y'all for watching, man. It's your boy Academics, and I am out of here. I love y'all. Peace.